Welcome back guys, this is Henry 502 Inc. I'm back and we are starting a brand new tutorial series, Python with Codecademy. And what we are what Python really is is a powerful, flexible programming language. I agree with Codecademy on that. It it has been used for web development, games, it, you can create GUIs and many many different applications such ranging from financial spreadsheets to I don't know um animated like an animated ping pong game with the use of Pi games or your own website with the use of Django so Python is pretty much the tool that can get almost anything just about anything done it the one benefit to Python is it looks just like normal English. You can, someone who doesn't know how to program could probably take a look at Python and figure out what's going on. And you can run the code obviously in Codecademy or else it wouldn't be here. So taking a, let's take a look. What we have is print, welcome to Python. Obviously, like I said before, anyone can take a look and figure out just what this means. This will be printed, and this is the text that will be printed. This is, think of this as an action. What are we, what's the action going to be? A text called, Welcome to Python. Now, these apostrophes, if you've been watching my tutorials, it basically means it's telling Python that we are using letters instead of numbers. So, save and submit and we get welcome to Python moving on to the next lesson variables now what variables are in Python are variables think of variables as placeholders so what Codecademy wants us to do in this is to create a variable called my variable whoa my bad my variable and set it equal to a value of 10 now what this basically does is we're, we're creating a variable, a placeholder, think of it like that, placeholder. Just like in math you have x equals, that's exactly what's going on here. My variable set it equal to 10 which is a value and when we save and submit we get nothing because we haven't printed it on the screen. So moving on to the next lesson, data types, data types basically are ways to define what the variable can do such as if you have a if you have a double that basically means you have more decimal places but if you have an int is almost exclusively whole numbers and booleans are true or false values and those are sh it's strictly like that so well what Codecademy wants us to do is to create in my int variable and set it equal to 7 so my int is the variable 7 is the value and they want us to create my float and give it a value of 1.23 and my bool and give it a value of true so boolean basically means true or false float in this place can hold decimal places and int is almost exclusively whole numbers. Save and submit. We get the green check mark. Save and submit and we get the green check mark. Moving on to the next lesson. Number four. Change the val value of my int from seven to three in the editor. So what happens is when we do my int, the variable, is originally assigned a value of 7. We are going to change this value of 7 to 3. And the new value of 3 will be printed when we print my variable. Because think of it, my, I mean my int. My, when we print my int, whatever value is inside of that variable is what will be printed. Save and submit. And we get three we get the green check mark we get a badge we are golden moving on to the next section add like subscribe comment down below please click on every ad in or around my videos i get a small cut you guys get some great ads
I'm out.